some of these are so complicated. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for coming. Uh, we have to be informal, if not informal, too. Um, I'm Jonas Rude, everybody knows me. Um, our artists are Katya Jerenkova Levanti, who is from Prague and from Niantic and Waterford and is a, whose works in the dimension of the realm of the, un, of the unconscious, and her work is a subconscious. It's called um, subconscionalism. That's why like I don't tell. have many scholars, <laughs> because nobody spells it. <laughs> no, well, I, I, I learned how to spell you it. You did, but <laughs> nobody else. Come over this way, and get in the camera. I'm going to run the camera, so. Okay. And, and um, so, so your work is related to what I'm doing in my writing on the narration of dreams and, this, and the exploration of the subconscious, so I'll let you talk about that. And we also have um, our dear, dear friend Ralph Levesque, who is an artist um, who's an educator <coughs> around Connecticut. And, and no, you'll talk first okay, if you'd like, okay? And uh, Ralph lives in, in Tignan with his Lorraine Reese, poet. So we have some books here available if anyone's interested of uh, Katya's work called Subconscionalism. And she's working on another one called Golden Ones. Golden Ones, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's going towards alchemy, alchemical. Towards alchemy. That's why we okay. re related in our work. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we'd like to talk about, if you'd like to just talk about your paintings, talk about your ideas first, or however you would like to do presentation. I can, I can, uh, spontaneously forgot what I invented to say this afternoon and well, say yeah. something totally Bring different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, so we the, can ask questions. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. So the title of uh, this, this... Could you speak up a little louder? Yes, I we try. I learned it in America, up. speak louder because nobody ever hear me. Okay. Yeah, so I found this uh, flag, subconscionalism, and uh, after many years, I'm all alone under this flag. <laughs> well, because, that's why we make it. Because, <laughs> because everybody who doing uh, subcontinual art actually is a very solitary runner. So there is uh, no way to make a big uh, warrior of arts group uh, under flag of subcontinualism. So I'm still here standing. Uh, well, but Ralph now joining, you join. <laughs> so I, I hope it will be larger. Uh, well, your husband Daniel understands your work, I think, yeah. right? and he, he it and, and encourages it and builds on it. So yeah, Daniel is translating uh, um, between between uh, uh, conscious and subconscious of uh, this this um, uh, geographic uh, realm that we are now. So yeah, yeah. So I found it that this subconsciousism. Uh, so I I'm going to do the video. Okay. So, oh, is uh, it running? Or yeah, it's running now, yeah. Uh -huh. so, so, yeah, I, I forgot to see So, yeah, so no, I, I found it that because I had to um, describe the, the process, how, how all these paintings come in. And uh, it, it is going through meditation, through uh, subtle channels of subconscious, and the reaching uh, uh, realms of. Uh, universal memory and uh, uh, then I'm bringing uh, during one month or two uh, back uh, there's forming uh, some uh, images some uh, some scenes some uh, <coughs> some uh, moment from different dimensions from different uh, planets or from even my my own personal uh, Universal encounters, or my uh, my uh, autobiographical moments. Um, yeah. So um, the process, how how is happening? Is um, I'm never planning the composition, the colors. I'm uh, going to the, in the state of uh, kind of not using the left side of the brain, and uh, after one month. Of not using left side of the brain, I'm coming to um, 
I, I start to analyze what, what actually is formed through my paintings and uh, uh, after writing and readings of uh, many of my favorite authors like like Carl Jung, Ren Gurkel, Joseph Katya, Campbell. Can you move forward a little bit? Because yeah, yeah, I know my voice is not Yeah, yeah that's that's what happens to me too. Yeah, yeah, I know when I speak loud, it sounds a little bit scary. That's bad. Don't be afraid to scare us. Oh, no, it's not true. Yeah, so, so this, um, this all authors uh, and some quantum physicists as well and alchemists, uh, all these uh, uh, readings uh, actually revealed what uh, this uh, this uh, symbolism that swarmed through my paintings means, and uh, uh, that's how this mosaic of uh, how how uh, we our consciousness and unconscious is connected to the universal consciousness, and uh, so it's it's meeting into, into this point of a mosaic of symbolism which you actually drag into the paintings. So. And I wanted, for I finish, and for I'm not so long, I would like to just read a poem from uh, my new book, Golden Ones, uh, and, uh, because I, I wrote about all these paintings. And uh, so this moment I have to read something. <laughs> I have really modern glasses. <laughs> Broken 2000. 21, still broken. So, this painting is called, can you, Memory of the Desert. Mirage of universal consciousness, macro, micro, wheel of life. Horus body is feeling from the naked soul which is continuing its cyclical journey until it becomes a spiral. The soul is morphing into the shape of a bird and is fed by pairs of wisdom by the Greek goddess. Meanwhile, in the left corner is appearing a new fetus of a next millennium, all brand by the central figure and coming to the golden civilization of the third eye, the three Anubises with the book. Thank you. So, no, no, wait, I have a question. So, you, you, you talked about your, um, some of your readings and uh, one of the quotes of the eye of God opens, uh, I think, and can you expand on what that idea is to you? Uh -huh. Or talk about where you, what, how you identify with it? Yeah, this is this uh, four, four religions coming together like, uh, like the shape of a pyramid, like mm -hmm. walls of a pyramid with meeting in the one point where the God's eyes open. Yes. Yeah. It was a quotation. I think it must have been Joseph Campbell. Mm -hmm. That's the tritactus that's on yeah. the dollar bill yeah. of the, the eye and yeah. the top yeah. part of the... The dollar bill is the last thing I'm thinking about. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of mysticism that we don't... Yeah, I know. It really is yeah. there. Well, so... Um, let's... With anyone else? Uh, chewing the speech. Can you talk about your forms a little bit more? I think um, yeah. maybe in the... The first piece, also in the third piece, that um, have a more... Uh ah, this piece, the um, welcoming Abraxas is called welcoming Abraxas. only because uh, he in Connecticut and somebody may be scared of uh, Abraxas itself. It's a mm -hmm. primordial god, uh, mythic god, creator and destroyer in the same time who is uh, scared of its own creation and uh, mm -hmm. yes and uh, there there appearing some figures which i un analyzed also in the final when i finished the painting i didn't knew they came so they are snake energies there is a golden civilization dragons guardians of the wisdom 
and uh, there is a man on the boat in the middle who is observing all this uh, yeah. chaos. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, would you like to tell us something about your background, how you went to school in Prague? My background, uh, uh, this is very interesting. I started, uh, I actually wanted to study theater set design, but I had been accepted because it was difficult to get in school you actually wanted at the time I studied. Then I became, I studied uh, a philosophical faculty, linguistics. And when I spoke already five languages, I went to non-verbal theater. <laughs> ah. <laughs> and then uh, I did 24 uh, years of non-verbal comedy theater. So this is my background. Meanwhile, I studied in an uh, academy which is called Umprum in Prague. Uh, I, I studied figural, figural uh, paintings ah. and drawings, but not paintings so much. It was more graphic. graphic. Design. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I studied. I think I'm solitary runner from beginning to final. Uh, I will run like the last days of my life all over the world. <laughs> yeah. So this is the answer, maybe. Yeah. It's important. Well, yeah, I had many exhibitions in Prague and in America for years, mm -hmm. wherever we lived. Tell us something about the theater that you were involved with. Yeah, it was a comedy theater, non-verbal. Um, pantomime? It, yes, ah, but, uh, but it wasn't a really a classical pantomime. It was more a, a more real, a realistic uh, comedy, more like uh, uh, in, in Europe when you say burlesque, it means something else than in America, unfortunately. So this was a uh, comedy. It was was humor, yeah, mm -hmm. the, the physical theater, not funny. It wasn't exactly part of mine. Were you able to use some of the painting, some of your painting skills in the theater? Uh, I did more, uh, I think more of like dancing parts appearing in my paintings somehow naturally with this. I'm influenced by, by um, scenical dance and uh, dancing. Because it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can see a lot of motion yeah. in the paintings. Yeah, it is. And uh, I'm coming back in America because <coughs> here is an ocean and, and we don't have any ocean, so I, I'm really attracted by a big quantity of water I have to be there. There's always something changing, something new to see. Yeah, yeah, the movement, uh, mm -hmm. not the stillness for me, or it's Well, we have something else. <laughs> yeah. Still any anything questions? else you want to talk about? Okay, you do You're interested in, <laughs> al you keep mentioning alchemy, so can you talk about uh -huh. your connection with that? The, the alchemy not? came, uh, like, for example, Carl Jung, when he finished writing the Red Book, he finished it because of uh, his, he read a book of uh, Golden Flower. And it tur turned him away from uh, many years of writing Golden, uh, writing a Red Book, mm -hmm. which is full of his beautiful paintings, by the way, because uh, uh, not only he was a uh, philosopher and uh, uh, psychologist, psychiatrist, but he was also a painter and uh, also he had a sense of humor, which a lot of people even don't know. Uh, he, he had this, um, if you read his readings, you can write things, you, you, you find a lot of uh, uh, very, very nice spark of humor. Yeah, yeah so. Um, he stopped to write this red book when he discovered alchemy, and he went to the alchemy and dissolved. Talk about Carl Jung. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and he dissolved yeah. into our alchemy. You wrote a vast amount on, on that, yeah, too. And synchronicity yeah. and yeah. many things. Yeah. Yeah, and then I met a gymnast who, who uh, even been in Prague to, uh, for alchem alchemical. Uh, how we, how we it was a convention in '95 on mm -hmm. Rosicrucian enlightenment, mm -hmm. yeah, and then in '97 on the and it's not Rudolf. Uh, we met. Yeah. 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 So now and I'm uh, marvelous place. Yeah. 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 Ye
my next exhibition in Prague is in the Faust House, which is when? Very, yeah, in the fifth of December, if nothing. This year. Yeah. <laughs> we had some. We had some uh, classes there. It was quite a strange place. Yeah, yeah. The manager kept place. saying that the 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 staircase in the back of the room kept falling yeah. down all the time, even yeah. when they built it out of stones. Yeah, always the the the, 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 the staircase. Yeah. Well, I would like to hear something from Ralph. I'm already good. Yeah. So, yeah. Very <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you, Katya. If everybody could turn around, I'd rather be over yeah. here in my paint. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to be on wheels. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.